Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're comparing two space heaters. I got pretty much because I wanted one when I go camping as well as for my basement because I, I have an unfinished basement without much climate control. So I got, I ordered this one first. These are both from Vornado. Um, I like their products because basically they seem to be on the safer side of space heaters. They all come with a tip over protection, which is just this button on the bottom that prevents it from tipping over. And they don't seem to get hot um, from what they advertise and from what people say. They have plastic cases and you, you can always touch them no matter how long you've left them on. So even if it does tip over, it isn't hot enough to light anything on fire. Uh, but I have two models here. The first one I got was this little personal heater. You can kind of compare the size here. This is the personal heater versus their whole room heater. Uh, this is the Velocity 3. And I really, I, do, I like this one better than the, the personal heater. Um, this is the VH202. This one is good if you're, you know, even if you're standing right in front of it and it's blowing right on you. Um, it will heat you up eventually, but it just doesn't seem to get you that warm. Um, it has two modes, a 375 and a 750 and it can also just be a fan if you just want to leave it in fan mode and you can control there's two different fan speeds here as well one's the 375 the other is the 750 or you can just leave it in fan mode which is nice it is a fan so i got this off ebay um, new inbox for 20 dollars um, and it wasn't really i'll show you my basement here um, it's about a thousand square feet unfinished it does have the you know the HVAC system running through it. So you do get a lot of heat off of that. It is in the ground, so it does stay around 68, 69, 70 degrees year round. Uh, but if you want it any warmer than that, or if you're feeling cold, um, you're gonna need another solution, which is why I got these. So this one, I, I did an experiment in my basement. It doesn't warm it up at all, really, in terms of, uh, I kept a thermometer next to it and it stayed around 68 degrees the entire time with this thing running for six or seven hours. Um, then I use this one. This is the Velocity 3. It's a much you know, bigger model, but not that much bigger. Um, it certainly is heavier. This is something you could throw in like a backpack. Um, this is a little bit harder to carry around. Um, but I ran this in my basement for six to seven hours um, and that warmed it up to about like 75, 76 degrees. So I got a solid six to seven degrees of increased, increased temperature out of this little unit. Uh, which is pretty impressive for a room this size, as big as my basement is, a thousand square feet. Um, so if, this one I paid 60 bucks off Kohl's.com. It was on sale. They had the cheapest price. Uh, I'm sure you can find it at a lot of different places. Um, but overall, that's uh, kind of my review of the two. If you're looking for something that will really warm up a room, get this one. This one's a 1500 watt space heater. Um, you can also put it at 750, 1125. Um, it does have some kind of thermostat control, so it'll click on and off um, as you reach that temperature with this little knob here. And it's got the three different fan speeds, or the three different wattages, essentially. Um, and again, it didn't get hot. A lot of people say they get a, like a burning plastic smell when they first use them. I think I noticed that a little bit, uh, but I didn't notice it the second time I used it. Um, so those are the two heat room heaters. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll catch y'all next time.